We have to get rid of the filibuster rule and go to 51 votes in the Senate if we're going to have really sustained, continued success. Okay, does anybody believe that's going to (laughs) happen? Give me a break. You know, this whole deal is also... uh, has also affected a lot of conservative members of Congress that aren't asleep. They objected to the size and the cost of the bill. Runs over, I think, 202 pages or 2,230. It doesn't matter. You're not going to read it anyway. As well as the failure, it, it didn't remove funding for Planned Parenthood. It didn't remove the funding for sanctuary cities. Other Republicans approved of the deal, pointing to the massive increase of military and infrastructure infrastructure spending, as well as funding to help combat the nation's opioid crisis. You know, I, I'm sorry. This, this, uh, you should have read it. Democrats are claiming victory, and you might expect that. The Trump's request for new deportation agents and detention centers. Uh, that's gone. You know the wh- what did they spend for border for the for the wall? One what is it? One point three trillion and a billion for border measures. Much of which is for repairs to what's already there, fencing that fell down. Hey, give me a roll of barbed wire over here. It explicitly rules out any new prototypes of the kind Trump viewed this month in California. So why did he do it? You know, House Speaker uh, Paul Ryan in the White House pushed back against conservative concerns, saying, well, it provided for 100 miles of border construction. Are you kidding me? Even if that's true, that's so pathetic, why would you even say it? All right, uh, let's go to Debbie in Flower Mound. Debbie, thanks for waiting. I appreciate your patience. How you doing, Debbie? Well, it's not a very good day for America, that's for sure. I am very libid. And I'm to the point that it's time for Republicans to stop threatening and to do. That means that you better start calling your senators, your representatives, and the president of the United States. I did all today. I talked with Burgess's uh, staff. Um, They're a bunch of weasels. They've all been neutered. The only people I'm going to listen to going forward are people on the Freedom Caucus. I say cut all the support to the uh, support personnel to all of these politicians so they have to read the dang stuff themselves. And I also see only one way of redemption for Trump for me, and that is he needs to use the military that he gets to beef up on the border. I don't care if he does training with them on the border, but the military, we have to take back our government, and he is in charge of the military. And the only way that I can see any redemption to this just disgusting decision to not veto is if he does something as extreme as that. You know, what your call is very uh, profound in the sense, Debbie. Good call, by the way. Thank you, uh, Debbie. What did Debbie say? We got to find a way to take our government back. What were we saying before Trump was elected? we got to find a way to take our government back. Now, it, the honeymoon lasted about a year, right? About a year. Didn't get rid of Planned Parenthood. Didn't uh, fund uh, anything about the wall. It did. It did so, so what? Well, it's uh, we need our military. You know, I agree. But there are other ways. You don't have to sign our grand, uh, great-grandkids into debt, for God's sake. Yeah, I'm... Uh, you know what this is? I, and it gives me no pleasure in saying this. I don't think it matters who's sitting in the Oval Office. The system is broken and perhaps beyond repair. And this is what happens when you allow anyone, Democrat, Republican, Independent, best of breed, doesn't matter, uh, to spend like drunken sailors, nothing against drunken sailors, with no accountability. This is what happens when uh, the American people have been viewed as walking, talking ATM machines uh, for decades. And Washington has never been held accountable. Name one way Washington, Democrats or Republicans, have been held accountable for their spending habits. Pork projects. 
I've been screaming term limits. I've been screaming uh, campaign finance reform. I've been screaming this for 20 years, and uh, you know all I hear is crickets. I don't hear anything else. There is no accountability in Washington. None. Not even for a billionaire that's not beholden to anybody. Um, man. Mark in Dallas. Mark, thanks for waiting. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing great, Rick. How you doing, brother? Uh, I'm well. Um, yeah, just just two quick points. I'm not going to keep you long. I, I, I heard a term today. I don't remember where I heard it or who said it, but I think it's time to um, – to maybe add that to our political lexicon, and that is, and in my view, we've witnessed the death of the two-party system. And now what we have, we don't have Republicans, we don't have Democrats, we have monocrats. There's no, it's, one it's, party. that's a way to look at it, yeah. There's one party, they don't care, they don't listen to their constituency, they do what they want to do. Well, the, who holds them accountable if they don't listen exactly. to the constituents? Well, the, 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 nobody. They're, they're not accountable. They don't care. Yeah, it, it, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, if, if you can spend as much money as you want to spend and not answer for it to anyone, if there's no accountability for how you vote one way or the other, um, then we get exactly what we deserve. I mean, think about it. They can do whatever they want in D.C. Do they have to? Is there anybody they answer to? As a matter of national security, I've signed this omnibus budget bill. There are a lot of things that I'm unhappy about in this bill. There are a lot of things that we shouldn't have had in this bill, but we were, in a sense, forced, if we want to build our military, we were forced to have. Okay, that, I don't know how long he's going to float that as an excuse. I don't think it's going to work. Do you believe, do you truly believe the only way that we could rebuild our military was to roll over with our legs in the air like a dog and have the Democrats scratch our belly? Do you truly believe that? 